Hey everyone, Jill here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. Hey guys, Nathan with Whispering Willow Farm. <laughs> he, he told me he was feisty today. <laughs> He's like, turn that camera on girl. I got some good one-liners for those folks today. <laughs> Um, he did also ask me, what are we going to shoot a, a video about? And I said, I don't know. I just turn it on whatever feels right. That's what I talk about. And so I don't really know what this video is going to be about. So stay tuned. We're going to figure that out. But it feels amazing. It's 60 degrees here and it's like lunchtime. It feels amazing. It feels so, so good. So we're going to go walk the farm for a minute. Um, I do know that we've got to figure some stuff out this weekend. We're going to be moving those little baby chicks that are in our bathroom basement um and so maybe try to figure out a plan for that they don't have feathers yet so they're, they they gotta stay somewhere warm but moving them out of the box that they're in right yeah. yeah yeah so we'll talk about that kind of our um vision with that talk through some of the breeds that we got that might actually be a fun thing to do is yeah. to talk about the breeds thank you mcmurray we got all of our birds from murray mcmurray which is where we've gotten all of our birds from for several yeah. years now um and so we literally texted ginger I was like, we want some really pretty egg layers, and we trust you. And so she hooked she us, us up. up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go walk around real quick, and then we'll probably end it talking about some chickens. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I am going to put a tea pitcher on Otis because I fed him this morning, but because it's kind of cooler in the house, he's not growing as fast as he usually does and before we head outside um, I made a post on the community post but I've been working really hard on a free uh, ebook for you guys about sourdough so it is how to activate Otis it's got the daily loaf the focaccia recipe a checklist uh, resources everything it's a 14 page ebook for free <laughs> um, just to hopefully encourage you guys to get started on your sourdough journey so if you go into the description down below it'll be the first thing um, you go through the checkout but like I said it's totally free it's not going to charge you it's just once you purchase it per se then it will send you that link to be able to print it out and so I'm hoping that that's going to be a really great resource for you guys so you can start baking um, these cooler mornings it's really all I want to do is make sourdough and so my plan is to make some focaccia this weekend um, and Nathan and I are planning on making dinner on an open fire um and so i thought that'd be fun toast some sourdough um in the backyard what are we doing lovey change plans we are we bought a bigger water trough for the goats yeah so we're gonna swap it out so i don't have to water every day yep hey girls how's it going they got double fed this morning because i fed them and then nathan didn't realize i fed them so he fed them Hey, sweet girls, what are y'all doing? Right, one chore done now on to the next have you fed pigs and everything today mm -hmm. yeah you guys we chose the wrong time of day to shoot a video it is so bright i am so sorry but it feels so nice it does feel so nice it feels so nice i had my first chai tea latte of the season and it tasted like fall it was so good it was so good on the squash. Yeah, I want to check on some of this in here too because I transplanted out beets, lettuce, green onions, and I wanted to kind of just share that with you guys. I am so just happy with my tunnel right now. Oh, and I wanted to share this too. So we have these squash varieties in here. There's a spaghetti squash and an acorn, and I've been checking and checking, and they finally changed colors. Um, can you see it down there? There we go. Look at that guy. Yeah. And then look, that's the spaghetti squash. I know. These are so pokey. So, I'm 
it's a pretty big one there too and so it's vining all the way down i think what i'm gonna do too though babe is we have been watching so many shows yeah i'll actually take a small one um and i want to do something with squash blossoms nathan and i've actually never had that i'm thinking like a ricotta stuffed squash blossom that was a big bite um so i might take some of these and cook them just because I've never done that before. Is that not the cutest little cucumber you've ever seen? That is a cute thing. little cucumber. My celery's doing good. My radishes have started to sprout. And my spinach. So, you guys can see here. A little spotty germination, but that's okay. That's probably just a watering issue. And we've got all of our little... Look at all this spinach, babe. So all of this is starting to sprout. I need to water those little seedlings. Um, our kohlrabi, which actually looks like, look at this, a little kohlrabi bulb. Isn't that fun? Probably need to spray these again. So here are my transplants. So we have beets. And we kind of have them in these grids. So from this section over is beets. This part of the grid is like a little small head lettuce. This is green onions. And then Nathan planted a bush beans down here. And I think we'll be able to get a yield off of them. I see a little bean right there um, before too long. I lost Nathan to the pigs. Imagine that. I'm actually been coming in and hand watering the stuff I'm direct seeding. Um, I've been trying to plant it on the drip, but I do find even if you have the drip on, it's helpful just to hand water some stuff just to make sure that it's getting good and germinated. And then once I see it germinated, I kind of slack off of that a bit. Um, so let's water these real quick. Check out that good looking thing <laughs> in her natural habitat. Hand watering plants. <laughs> we have the drip on, but some of our drips getting clogged um, and we need to just like replace the, the drip line, the drip tape that we have. So as I'm watering all these little seedlings, I've just been trying to water some of my transplants too. But thankfully the weather's been so perfect that it hasn't really been a problem. These are looking pretty good. So. You're doing a fantastic job. Thanks, love. <laughs> I feel so much more motivated this time of year to come out here. Oh yeah? Yeah. Tell me what motivates you. To grow food or what specifically? Whatever you want to tell everyone. Is this because we listened to our friend's podcast today and he asked this question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leo Cummins, this one's for you. Um, you guys check out uh, Pull Up a Chair with Leo podcast. Yeah, we'll put it in the description. What motivates me? I mean, I think this, right? Like we're in this massive time when most people are ripping out their gardens or have already ripped up their gardens and they're essentially hanging up their hat for the season. Um, and while others are hanging up their hat, I'm really like just now starting to strap on my boots. And so... Being able to see so much life in here in a season that's going to be really dead, right? We're going to look outside and the trees are going to have lost their leaves and the grass isn't going to be growing. But you come in here and you just see food in abundance. Um, for me, that's really motivating. And I'm hoping that throughout the summer, I can share this journey with you guys and really just inspire you that you can do this too. Um, and I don't know, food's just been a massive thing for me right now like a tugging and a yearning someone asked me the other day what did you do as a kid 
And I was like, I was in the kitchen all the time as a kid. And now here I am as an adult really wanting to kind of come back to that. And so I feel really motivated to grow this food to try new ways to cook it in the kitchen. Cook it over open fire. I know that's something that Nate, you and I are really excited about experimenting with. So I look out here and I just get super motivated by the potential of what this tunnel is going to provide us with this winter. Girl, you preach. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime you want to experiment in the kitchen i'm i'm all for it. i that. have been doing a lot of experiments I know you have. yeah i'm proud of you thank you i get to just sit back on the couch and watch my hot wife in the kitchen <laughs> enjoy a beverage enjoy a beverage so if you caught my vlog earlier this week um well to the end of that tea post because then we have beans the rest of the way remember um if you caught my video earlier this week about interplanting i got a ton um started but I didn't quite finish so I'm recruiting Nathan real quick we're gonna finish planting that area with carrots and radish um, and then we'll hop back on here to just go rogue. Oh yeah? Don't you think? Yeah. That's a good little video. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff done. Are you falling on the slope here? Yeah. Do you want me to move? I'm good. I just have to sit up like this. Okay. All right. Thanks for helping me do that. Yeah. We only have a few more plants to get planted, but we did talk about talking about the chicks and I know, will you pull up that, uh, the invoice on our phone to where we can tell them the breeds because we get asked that a lot. Um, and obviously as we move the little chicks outside, we'll share with you more about that. But I do want to just share with you some of the breeds we have now and the ones that we got um, and we're pretty excited for. So right now we've got a blue egg layer. We have the white egg layers, which are actually a Cornish cross mix that we bought a Cornish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that right. Making sure you said that right. <laughs> That's what it is, right? Cornish cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we bought these as meat chickens a few years ago, and for some reason they didn't ever get um, harvested that day. And so they are now egg layers and live in a pretty ha happy, fulfilled life here on the farm. Um, okay. We have true white and greens, which I am so excited about. I've wanted those for a long time. We have the Americanas, which lay those really pretty blue eggs. We have got the Partridge Rock. I think that's a good brown layer, if I'm correct. The Red Star, that's definitely a brown layer. The Black Australorp, beautiful, beautiful birds. We have some of those now. The Bard Rock, um, that's also a brown layer. And then we have the uh, a Moran. <laughs> Cuckoo Moran. Cuckoo Moran. So that's a dark, dark. So we have a lot. That's the thing is we have a lot of green and blue layers right now. But I was really looking for those rich, dark brown eggs that are kind of speckled. Um, yeah. And so that's what we have now. They're all doing great. They're thriving. Um, yeah. They're, they've been wonderful. You're talking about the chicks or the birds? The chicks. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're getting flighty. So like I mentioned, we have bought our chicks from Murray McMurray for several years now. Always been super pleased. Never really had any issues with the chicks. Um, they're beautiful egg layers. And they're just so easy to work with. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, And I'll mention that when I worked at the Farmers Co-op, we ordered for several hatcheries, including Murray McMurray. Um, and never had never had any issues. Yeah. They're, just, they're just... They're good people. Good people, <laughs> super easy to deal with. 
uh, and that's kind of why we yeah. we go with them. So. Yeah, I mentioned the chicks in the last vlog, but didn't really talk about them a lot. And some people were asking, what breeds did you get? Which is why we just wanted to throw this on here. We'll do a more in-depth video once we get them moved out of the basement and where we can kind of have them out and talk about them more. <laughs> right now, they're still so small. We're trying to, you know, let the kids see them, but not really be super hands-on in this stage right now. But I do know that they're opening up their pre-orders for chicks the beginning of November. They'll have a new catalog out. So I'm gonna put a link down here. Make sure you follow them on social platforms and then sign up for their newsletters. Um, along with the seed catalog, I love getting the Murray McMurray catalog and just sitting down in the fall and figuring out what seeds am I gonna order? What chicks are we gonna have this year? So we usually get chicks every single year. Mm -hmm. um, and we just, we love it. We love it. Yeah. The kids love it. We hear the little chirping all the way upstairs when we're cooking dinner. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And um, the only reason you guys hadn't seen much of that is because we really don't want to show you the uh, basement bathroom. <laughs> it's so, like, I barely can fit in there with my camera and with the massive box. So, yeah, we're just kind of waiting for them to get yeah. a little bit more feathered to where we can bring them out and, like, share with you um, a lot more. And we'll be doing a more in-depth video on that. But yeah. we're just knocking out some farm chores today. Thought, you know what? Let's shoot a video. I haven't got to do a video with you in a minute. It has been a minute. And it's you. a beautiful day on the farm. I just want to be outside all day. Well, good. You can help me plant some more stuff. <laughs> All right, we are also gonna be putting out an extra video tomorrow. We do not typically post on Saturdays. That's really just kind of our, you know, Saturday and Sundays are free days just to kind of hang out on the farm as a family. Um, but we have some exciting, fun news, a really good deal for you guys that we have actually never given, been given this type of deal. And so we thought it'd be worth doing a video. So make sure you tune into the channel tomorrow uh, to see what we're talking about. That's right. But thank you for hanging out with us today. Thanks for hanging out with yeah, me Yeah, I enjoyed hanging out with you guys, so. And me too. Right? And you, <laughs> of course. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Uh, we're gonna have a video out tomorrow. What is tomorrow's date? It's Saturday the 1st. Yeah. It is? So there's only 30 days in this month? I think. Let's verify that. 30 days. Friday is, so Saturday's this, the 1st. Yeah, okay, so this will go out Friday. <laughs> So we will have a really fun video going out tomorrow. Um, super excited about, we usually do not release videos on Saturday. That's kind of time for mama to have a break and hang out with the family. Um, but it's kind of somewhat in partnership with one of our affiliates. They gave us a really, really good deal that we can share with you guys. And so we decided that we would take the opportunity to make a video and share that with you guys. So make sure you're catching <laughs> bloopers <Thank you. laughs> I didn't really like how that flowed um, well, first of all you said cotchers <laughs> you know sometimes I don't realize I say things wrong until I go back to edit it and I'm like oh gosh that's not actually a word in the dictionary <laughs> okay let's try again okay all right so make sure you wait where did I start at that though <laughs> You gotta look at the camera. Take three. Take three. <laughs>